This is the fourth video in the Quest Machine tutorial series. In this video, we'll create a quest that has two different branches that the player can choose to go down. The quest will also have a timer that fails the quest if the time runs out. This is what it looks like. There's the timer for 30 seconds. The quest also presents the player with two choices, to either kill three orcs or defeat an orc champion. And here we can see that we entered the successful state. We'll start with a basic scene similar to the scene that we ended with in Tutorial 1. We'll create a new quest database and create a quest named Kill Orcs. Then assign this quest to the quest giver. We'll also rename the title to something nicer for the UI. And we'll set up the offer text. As typical, we'll set up the headings for the active state. We'll also set up the journal entry for the successful state. And since it's possible to fail this quest, we'll also set up the journal entry for the failed state. This quest will use two counters. We'll call the first counter Orcs Killed and use it to keep track of the number of Orcs Killed. I've already set up an orc prefab similar to the mysterious circle prefab. However, instead of an on trigger enter event, this one uses a disappear event. This event runs when the game object is disabled or destroyed. In this case, we've set it up to send the message killed orc that the counter listens for. I've also set up a similar prefab called orc champion that sends a similar message. The second counter will keep track of the time left, so we'll call this one time left. We'll set the current value to the starting time, and also remember to set max value, because current value is always clamped between min and max. Now we'll create the nodes. 
Create one node named Kill Three Orcs, a second one named Defeat Champion, and a third one for our timer. Direct the first two nodes to success. And direct the timer to failure. When the start node becomes active, we want to activate those orcs. First, we'll set up a spawner for the orcs. Name it Orc Spawner. and we'll assign our orc prefab. In the start node, we'll set up a control spawner action to start that orc spawner. We'll also use the Activate Game Object action to activate the inactive Orc Champion Game Object that's in the scene. In the HUD for Kill 3 Orcs, we'll show the current counter value. and we'll set a counter condition. If the player kills three orcs, the quest will go to the success state. On the defeat champion node, we'll use a message condition and listen for the message that the orc champion sends when it's destroyed. That node will also lead to success. In the success node, let's show an alert and also play an audio clip. On the timer node, we'll show the value of the time left counter. This time we'll show it as a time format. For this node, we'll use a timer condition, which counts down the value of the timer every second. When the counter reaches zero, the condition becomes true. In this case, when time left becomes zero, the failure state becomes true.
And this is what it looks like. And we can see that we got to the success state. We can try again with the other branch and defeat the champion. To recap, we set up a quest with two branches that the player can choose to go down, and a timer. The first branch uses a counter condition, and the second branch uses a message condition. If the player hasn't satisfied either condition before the timer hits zero, the quest fails. But if either condition becomes true, the quest succeeds.